All right, so mounting, getting Ubuntu to automatically mount your drives when you boot up is pretty simple, so I'll try to make it quick. The first thing you want to go is do is go to Utilities and open up Disks. So here are my three drives that I'm going to mount. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is just mount it um, manually. And then you're going to have to open up the terminal. So in the terminal, you're going to do sudo nano uh, forward slash etsy forward slash fs tab. Put in your password. So in this file, we're going to add the information from the uh, other drives that we want to put in here. So the first thing that it asks for is the file system. So that's going to be the UUID. So UUID equals, I'm going to start with my SSD. So the, the UUID is this right here. So just copy and paste. Then it's asking for the mount point. It's automatically being mounted right here. So just copy and paste. Type of drive, that's the uh, uh, the file system. So that's ext4. And then it's the the options. Um, we're gonna use. I'm gonna use defaults. Uh, defaults includes things like read write, auto, and user. Um, auto is so that it mounts automatically on boots. User is so that you can modify the set the things in the in the um in the hard drive. It also includes executable so that the things in the hard drive can be executed like a program. Um, if you don't want you can make it so that it, it's only read. Um, that way you can mount the file. That way you can mount the drive and then only read from it. Just in, uh, I'm not. I'm actually not sure why you would want that, but I'm sure there's some some people would would want it to be read only. Okay, so it's the options. Dump is for in what order it gets backed up at in. So I don't back up my drives. I don't have anything really important on here. So I'm going to put zero. If you do back them up, you would put a uh, a two because, well, actually, my main drive isn't being backed up. So you would probably put a one there if you wanted this drive backed up, but not your main drive. But I'm not backing it up. And then pass. And that's for uh, the file system check on boot. Um, so it does check here your main drive automatically. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and check, uh, do the file system check on boot for this drive as well. And then the process for the other drives is exactly the same. So copy the UUID. Copy and paste that. Where is it mounted? This is also ext4, I'm pretty sure. Um, if you have an a, a NSTF drive, putting auto right here will let it mount. Well, it auto checks the file system automatically, so you don't have to specify uh, what what type of uh, file system it is. And then the last one right here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop right now. Um, so after you add everything to that um, to that file, you'll just Control X to exit and save it. And then what you want to do to make sure that it's in there properly, you'll do sudo mount a, and it's saying that those mount points don't exist. I know I did this correctly, uh, so it should be fixed if you just mount it manually again. And then try this. Yeah, okay, so that that time it didn't give an error, so now it'll work. And then from here you'll just reboot and then um and then they'll show up automatically. They'll show up down here if you haven't changed your settings, but I don't like that the drives are showing up down here, so I hid them. But as long as sudo mount a does not give you an error, and you can see right here that they are mounted, then uh 
then you're good to go. Yeah. All right. That's it. Thank you.